So finally, after many, many years of putting up with crap internet, um, fiber to the property is finally available and we now have it installed. Um, we was on a copper connection before and our speeds were shocking, to be honest. Um, well, I say shocking, they wasn't too bad, but the actual connection over the copper line was a bit of a nightmare. Um, caused us a lot of issues but after around about what 15 years now we finally have fiber to the property and decent fiber to the property um, I have taken speed tests prior to having the fiber to the property installed and obviously since we've had the fiber to the property installed um, done more speed tests and I will show them in this video as well um, I'll explain a couple of little bits and pieces as we go through the video but nothing too technical um, just to show everyone that it is possible and decent internet is out there somewhere this is the speed test result on the copper line using an app called Net Analyzer. Um, you can do lots of things on it, but this I was just using it for a speed test result, really. Um, as you can see, the, the download is not too bad, to be honest. I mean, a lot of people will probably be very grateful for that kind of speed, but the upload was the one that caused the major issues, and we was lucky to get one megabyte upload. The second speed test is just run by the speed test um, app run by Akuma or something like that, I think it is. Um, just as a comparison of two different speed test results, really, to be honest. But as you can see, it's not, it's not great. The download's all right, not too bad, but the upload and the fact that it was on a copper connection caused major issues. So this is the new fibre to the property overhead connection um, just comes into the side of the house and then goes into basically a junction box which connects the two ends of the fibre optic together it has to be spliced together on a machine so it gets a nice good secure connection which obviously has to be perfect because it's sending light down the cable and then it just goes around the back of the house and into the, the existing hole that was already there. So this is where the fibre optic comes into the house and goes into the open reach box on the wall. And then that just connects to our router, which is the Netgear Nighthawk XR500 Pro Gaming Router. Um, amazing router, well worth the money. And that is the Yearlink adapter thing for our digital phone because we also have uh, gone for the digital phone package with the fiber optic that's just for our lights that's the Philips Hue lights and that is the booster box for our mobile phones because our mobile signals crap and that's the digital phone that we use Oh, here we go again with the speed test and as you can obviously see massive improvement couldn't be happier with the results it was a long wait but to be honest it was worth it and now that it's here couldn't be happier with the results we are on a business package with BT um, and we went with the full 300 meg download and 45 meg upload um, which is not cheap but to be honest We've suffered with rubbish internet so long, thought why not do it. And this is just running the speed test again on the speed test app, which is pretty much giving the same results. Um, just wanted a comparison of two different speed tests really. Um, but yeah, couldn't be happier. Great results. The ping is slightly better as well, which is a bonus, especially for gaming couple of things I just wanted to say this is the uh, generic uh, BT router that they sent the free one that you get from any ISP is always rubbish compared to a brought and paid for one yourself 
Um, the biggest issue for this router for me was the fact that it only had three usable Ethernet ports on the back. The WAN one that you can see is where the Ethernet connection goes from your fibre to the property to the router. So there is only actually three usable Ethernet ports to connect. Um, obviously wired gaming is preferred. Um, with other things that we got connected as well, three just isn't enough. And I, I would highly advise against using a generic router. That's why we went with the Netgear Nighthawk XR500 Pro. Um, I will put a link in the description, and you know you can you can have a look at it yourself on Amazon. And yeah, if if anyone's got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm not I'm no expert, but um, I'll try and answer any questions. And hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.